the parliament was to begin the twentieth of july fifteen sixty and to be continued till the first of august and therefore the lords made haste and diligence that all things should be put in convenient order but before all things the preachers exhorted them for then in edinburgh were the most part of the chief ministers of this realm to be thankful unto god and next to provide that the ministers should be distributed as the necessity of the country required a day was appointed when the whole nobility and the greatest part of the congregation assembled in st giles's church in edinburgh where after the sermon made for that purpose public thanks were given unto god for his merciful deliverance in form as followeth knox history o eternal and everlasting god father of our lord jesus christ who hath not only commanded us to pray and promised to hear us but also willest us to magnify thy mercies and to glorify thy name when thou showest thyself pitiful and favourable unto us especially when thou deliverest us from desperate dangers for so did thy servants abraham david jehoshaphat and hezekiah yea the whole people of israel omitted not the same when thou by thy mighty hand didst confound their enemies and didst deliver them from fear and danger of death intended we ought not nor can we forget o lord in how miserable a state stood this poor country and we the just inhabitants of the same not many days past when idolatry was maintained when cruel strangers did bear rule when virgins were deflowered matrons corrupted men's wives violently and villainously oppressed the blood of innocence shed without mercy and finally when the unjust commandments of proud tyrants were obeyed as law out of these miseries o lord neither our wit policy nor strength could deliver us yea thou didst show to us how vain was the help of man where thy blessing giveth not victory in these our anguishes o lord we sobbed unto thee we cried for thy help and we proclaimed thy name as thy troubled flock persecuted for thy truth's sake mercifully hast thou heard us o lord mercifully we say because that neither in us neither yet in our confederates was there any cause why thou shouldst have given unto us so joyful and sudden a deliverance for none of us ceased to do wickedly even in the midst of our greatest troubles and yet hast thou looked upon us so pitifully as though we had given unto thee most perfect obedience for thou hast disappointed the counsels of the crafty thou hast bridled the rage of the cruel and thou hast of thy mercy set this our perishing realm at a reasonable liberty o thou lord that only givest all good gifts give us hearts with reverence and fear to meditate on thy wondrous works lately wrought in our eyes let not the remembrance of the same unthankfully slip from our wavering minds we grant and acknowledge o lord that whatsoever we have received shall fall into oblivion with us and so turn to our condemnation unless thou by the power of thy spirit keep and retain us in recent and perpetual memory of the same we beseech thee therefore o father of mercies that as of thy undeserved grace thou hast partly removed our darkness suppressed idolatry and taken from above our heads the devouring sword of merciless strangers so that it would please thee to proceed with us in this thy grace begun and albeit that in us there is nothing that may move thy majesty to show us this favour yet for christ jesus thy only well-beloved son's sake whose name we bear and whose doctrine we profess we beseech thee never to suffer us to forsake or deny this verity which now we profess but seeing that thou hast mercifully heard us and hast caused thy verity to triumph in us so we crave of thee continuance to the end that thy godly name may be glorified in us thy creatures and seeing that nothing is more odious in thy presence o lord than ingratitude and violation of an oath and covenant made in thy name and seeing thou hast made our confederates of england the instruments by whom we are now set at this liberty and to whom in thy name we have promised mutual faith again let us never fall to that unkindness o lord that either we declare ourselves unthankful unto them or profaners of thy holy name confound thou the counsel of those that go about to break that most godly league contracted in thy name and retain thou us so firmly together 
by the power of thy holy spirit that satan may have no power to set us again at variance or discord give us thy grace to live in that christian charity which thy son our lord jesus hath so earnestly commended to all the members of his body that other nations stirred up by our example may set aside all ungodly war contention and strife and study to live in tranquillity and peace as becometh the sheep of thy pasture and the people that daily look for our final deliverance by the coming again of our lord jesus to whom with thee and the holy spirit be all honour glory and praise now and ever amen thanksgiving for deliverance with prayers by john knox this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org